भगवते वासुदेवाय As you get knowledge, step by step, Krishna is the original spiritual master and then from Krishna, Lord Brahma learned the Vedic knowledge. Tini Brahma Rida Adika Vahi. In the Bhagavad it is said that where from Brahma got his knowledge. Because whenever we want to get knowledge, we must approach a superior person to get knowledge. That vigyanatham sa guru meva vigatya. Guru means superior. So who was the superior person when Brahma got knowledge? Because there was no other creature. He is the first creature. Therefore it is said the superior person was Krishna, but he was not present. We see Krishna was present before Arjuna. But nobody was present before Brahma. That would say, Tene Brahma Riza Adhikavai. Riza. Through the heart. Because Krishna is situated in everyone's heart. Actually, he is the spiritual master, Chaitya Guru. So, in order to help us, he comes out as physical. 
spiritual master. Therefore, Sakshad Haritin or some spiritual master is representative of Krishna. Krishna sends some sincere devotee to act on his behalf, and therefore he is spiritual master. <coughs> so, this is the parampara system. As you receive knowledge, step by step, Narayana, uh, Krishna instructor, Vasudeva, uh, Brahma, Brahma instructor, Narada, Narada instructor, Vasudeva, Vasudeva instructor, his disciple, Madhya Charja. In this way, we have to go through also the same way. First of all, offer respect to the spiritual master, as he has done to Sukhdeva Goswami. Tangabhasasunam upajami mani guru guru mani na. Then his spiritual master, then his spiritual master, then his spiritual master. Just we have got the pictures. First of all, your spiritual master, then his spiritual master, his spiritual master, his spiritual master, and ultimately Krishna. This is the process. Don't try to approach Krishna directly, jump over. That is useless. As you receive knowledge through the steps, parampara system, similarly we should approach Krishna through the step. Narayanam namaskritta naranchayiva naruttamam devin sarasyati nibhyasam tatu jayamudhirayam. In this way, you become uh, glorified. <coughs> All the basic details and the Puranas are meant for conquering the darkest region. Tamondham, we have already discussed. Atitititi eh? sata, samisharinam karunaya aha. Samusharinam Kurinaya Purana Guyam Madhyata Deepa Mati Titi Satam Tamam That is human civilization. How to get out of this darkness of ignorance? Not the dogs and cats jumping in very jubilant time, a big dog, let me jump over. This is not civilization. There is animal civilization. We are, they are jumping naked, we are jumping dressed. That's all. That is the difference. Otherwise, what is the difference? So long we have got this bodily concept of life. Uh, let me enjoy this body senses. Body means the senses. Uh, Indirani pararahu. Go so long one is in the darkness. He is predominant feature of enjoyment is the senses. There's, let me I have got this tongue. Let me eat whole day. Go to the restaurant, cut throat of this animal, that animal, and enjoy. Let him go to hell. Let me enjoy. This is Juhalo. Tarvanti Juhavati Lobhumai Sudurumati. Tare jita kothino samuja. Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, amongst the senses, the most powerful sense is the tongue. Most powerful sense. Uh, you see, there's smoking, chain smoker. Going on, going on. What is this? There is some sensation. And if you smoke cigarette or drink, it's simply the tongue. The tongue is dictating. Do this, do that. Take this, take coffee, take tea, smoke, take um, and bless, take chicken, take this, take this, take That means the going on, going on, what is this? There is some sensation and if you smoke cigarette or drink, it's simply the tongue. The tongue is dictating. Do this, do that. Take this, take coffee, take tea. Somehow, take um, and bless, take chicken, take this, take this, take 
That means the out of the all senses, the tongue is the most formidable. Therefore, Bhakti Thakur says, Dharmande Jivati Lovamay Sudhu. That is it our continuation. It is very difficult to conquer over the tongue. And if you can conquer over the tongue, then you can conquer over the belly, and then you can conquer over the genital. Uh, the straight line, one after another. Dharamanta Jivati. So you know the story that one dog was crossing over a small rivulet and he saw the picture of another dog in the water. And actually there was no dog. He was carrying some poo in his mouth and he saw another dog within the water. So he thought, uh, let me uh, take his footstep from the mouth. And as he opened the mouth, he wanted to take the other dog's footstep, the whatever he had, gone. You see, this is dog feeling. Take others. Take others means he loses his own. This is called illusion, māyā. You did not read this? It's a famous story. It is very instructive story. This is dog's pillar. This is dog's pillar. All these so-called empire, this Roman Empire was expanded. The British Empire was expanded. Now they have lost everything. Finished. The dog's business was finished. But this kind of expansion unnecessarily. Yeah. Therefore, our philosophy is be satisfied, whatever God has given you. Tena taktena vindhita. Ma gridhātasya siddhanam. You be satisfied whatever is given to you by God, allotted to you. Don't try to uh, encroach upon others' property. This is civil. But they, man is transgressing this law of nature. They are not satisfied to become localized. They want to expand. If you want to expand, but expand something which uh, will be beneficial to the human race. They say, we are expanding Krishna consciousness. This is required to be expanded. Because the cats and dog civilization will be controlled. Uh, but uh, to expand the cats and dogs civilization to compete with another dog is the same story, subscribable story, to capture the other dog and take it. And then do that. Uh, we are very instructive. So the business, real business is samsharinam, samsharinam, eh, adhyakatu. One should come to senses that I am eternal. I hear from Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that sarire, nahannate hannamane sarire. I am not finished after my body is finished. Then if I am not finished, where do I go? Where, where I remain? This is intelligence. But they have no information uh, that the eternal soul, nāhannati hannamāni sarīre. They are thinking all of a sudden by uh, this body has um, uh, developed and we have got good senses. Uh, let us enjoy the senses. There is no life. Uh, it is finished. Big, big professor in Russia. Uh, that professor Kotarsky told me, Samiji, after finishing this body, is there is anything. Everything is finished. That is the basic principle of modern civilization. 
that there is no life after death, and whatever senses we have got, let us enjoy it. And then bhashibhūtasya dehasakku, that, that it is not a new thing. This atheistic philosophy was there long, long ago. Uh, they have not discovered anything new. It is already there. The, in, in, the, in India, the atheistic philosophy was already there. Charmatma. Uh, he, he used to say, enjoy life. Uh, senses. Gratify your senses. Savara. No, I have no sufficient money. Adhinam kritya. Take big borrow steel, big money. There are three methods of getting money. Uh, if one hasn't got money, then beg. Just you are begging. Professional beggar, sometimes. Uh, they beg, borrow, and those who are not beggar, they borrow from friend or steal uh, or buy hook and crow. So that is Charvak theory. Bring money, savara, beg, borrow, uh, or steal. Rīnaṅkṛtya. Uh, Rīnaṅkṛtya is a very word is used. Uh, if you have no money, then take loan from your friends. Rīnaṅkṛtya kṛtaṁ pivet jāvat jīve sukhaṁ jīve. Now I have to pay back. How can I take loan? If I don't pay, then I shall remain debtor, and I will have to pay in my next life. No, no, don't bother about next life. Vaśyabhūtasya dehasya kuta punarāga. Then your body, when it is finished, it will be born into ashes. Then the ashes will be lost. No more you are coming. So this is going. Samar, because people have no knowledge about the next life, they are not interested with the spiritual education. That is the difficulty. They are not at all interested. Why people do not come here? They think that these people will say that there is life after death, and if you do not do nicely, you will have to suffer. All this nonsense we have to hear, utopia. They do not, they are not interested. They are so dull. The fact Krishna is giving example, as you are changing your body, we have changed every one of us, we have changed body. I was a baby, I was a child, I was a boy, I was a young man. Now I have got a different body. Where those bodies gone? They have no brain to think. I had all this body. That's a fact. And they are not existing now. That's a fact. It is still, I say, there is no other body after me. What is the reason? What is the logic? How simple logic is given by Krishna, not ordinary person, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God Himself, that as you have changed so many bodies, passed through so many bodies, every medical sciences, every minute we are changing body. That's a fact. <coughs> Just like the other day, Dr. P. Banerjee came, that girl, I saw. 10, 10, 12 years ago, 1955, I saw that girl. 1955. How many years ago? 20. Huh? 19, 19 years. Huh? 19, 20. So that girl has grown up now 19 years. Huh? At that time, she was on the lap of her mother. So I answered, Oh, you're. Daughter has grown up so much. She has changed so many bodies. So that body which I saw in 1955, that is not existing. Where is the illogical? That body is not existing, but the girl is there, her mother, father, yes, yes, she is my daughter, that daughter which you saw so little. The body has changed so many times. So similarly, uh, when I, I shall give up this body, I must have another body. And Krishna said, tatha dehantara prati. And this is called saṃsāra. The saṃsāra means repetition of different bodies. That is called saṃsāra. Uh, 
Yes, samsharinam kurna. Therefore this Krishna consciousness movement is to uh, be compassionate to these rascals who are in the cycle of changing body after body. It is a great movement. Everyone, all over the world, they are thinking there is no life after death. But that's, that is not the fact. The fact, fact is, as you have changed, so many bodies in this life, you have to change this body, you have to accept another body. It's a great dangerous position that they do not think. If I accept another body of a tree, then I will have to stand in one place for thousands of years. This is the science. Now I cannot stay for five minutes in the Bhagavad-gītā class, but if I am given the body by nature, you are under the grief of nature. You cannot say, you cannot stop your death when nature asks you, now you must die. You cannot, your science cannot stop this. So you are under the grief of the nature. So if the nature gives you, now you take this body a banyan tree and stand here for five thousand years. How can you stop it? If your scientific knowledge can stop it. Hmm? Is it possible? Then what is your science? Uh, if you are under the grip of the material nature, prakriti kriyamanani guni karmani sarvasa, ahankar vimunatma kartaham miti mannade, although he is pulled by the ear, by the material nature, he is thinking, he is free. Is freedom. They are struggling for freedom. What is this nonsense freedom? You are under the grief of the material nature. Where is, where is your freedom? Now you have got, nature has given you this human form of body. Next you may get another body. Next you may get it. That is under the, completely under the control of material nature. So they do not know. Uh, they do not know completely in darkness. Tamondha. Therefore those who are eager to cross over this ocean of ignorance, for them these instructions are there. Narayana namaskritam naruncaiva narutam. You have to go to the parampara is there. Some missing tapasya, jnana. Bhavo jnana tapasya puto manta agata. So by jnana, by knowledge, by tapasya, you have to make progress. This is Krishna consciousness. Thank you.